Modern Nomads is a weekly program about Kazakh compatriots who try to save Kazakh traditions for the current and next generations and for those who are interested in the culture and history of ancient Kazakh nomads. Watch us every week on Kazakh TV. This is the Great Steppe. The east and south are mountainous, the north is a fertile land, and the sandy west is the oasis. That is the Kazakh land. The harmony of this big, rich place is its mountains, stones, rivers, and lakes. The steppe and the people are favored. The place is rich for their tradition as well as the land. In today's program, the topic of arranging a funeral will be covered. Arranging a funeral has a deep history and is one of the biggest traditions. It is not like a wedding party, it plays an important role in the Kazakh life. Тарихы сақтардан бастап бастау алатын үлкен құрттық шараларды өлді. Бұлай қарасаңыз өз бұна ғотыр шалықпын салыстырғанда. It is one of the events which took place from the Saks period. As compared with settled people, the life of nomads finishes with food. Arranging a funeral is much more important than weddings in various parties. The geographical territory covers a big place. Certainly, it depends on a person's influence and political position. If to touch the history, there was a historian named Kurban Gali Khalid in the 19th century. He comes from among the people. He researched the history and said that the arranging funeral started about 300 years ago. The last funeral that was arranged and which people remember was in honor of Yesim Khan. They say Yesim Khan had a horse named Sarip Kula. The horse was a leader and the best in any competition. Kurban Gali Khalid, based on this data, thinks that the history is about 300 years. He is one of the youth who is representing the Kazakh history. He did not stop with books. He is a specialist who is wandering the steppe, sees historical places and touches it with his hands. Information among people is much important than data in the books. History is the grandpa of science. You cannot make or change the history. Because signs on the stone say for several centuries, heritages of the great steppe are eternal signs. There are hearths near the burial grounds of the sacks. There you can find the place of big hearths. If you look at the place of this hearth, it seems that Thai Kazans were located there. We go for expeditions many times. We wander the steppe. People don't remember the place where the wedding party took place. On the contrary, people remember the place of arranging the funeral. They are remembered by the hearth. For example, a famous funeral which took place in Ulitao was in honor of Sultan Yerdien Sandi Bai Uli. The shrine of Yerdien Sandi Bai Uli is located there. And down to the shrine along the Karagandi River, the place of hearth is still saved there. People say, arranging a funeral is the place of digging a hearth. In the Karaganda Oblast in the Oktogai region, there is the Erdin hearth. A funeral also took place there. There is also a place in Torgai Steppe named Bektas Hearth, the place where the funeral was arranged in honor of Ali Bai's father. If you look carefully, all historical places in the steppe are connected with funerals, and hearths are mentioned everywhere.
arranging a funeral is the traditions inherent to the Kazakh people. It shows prosperity, riches, generosity, and also the tradition. It evaluates the prestige of a person. In ancient times, only rich people could afford to arrange it. About 100 yurts were erected, a herd of horses and sheep were slaughtered. Palawans took part in wrestling and tried their fortune. There were traditions and rules of arranging a funeral. The rule of arranging a funeral started from the day of hoisting the black flag. The first day is called Oshak Kazar, digging a hearth. On the first day, a hearth is dug and cauldrons are put on. There are some traditions which are organized on that day. They start bringing their cattle. The second day is called Mal Soyar. That is the day when the cattle are slaughtered. Guests start visiting on the second day. Some people who meet the guests are specially allotted. They are called toasters. Kurban Gali Halidov called them Kirishi. But in Kazakh language, Kirishi is the person who leads the caravan. Perhaps translators made some errors we don't know exactly. The third day is called Ustagan, says Musta Shormanov. We were surprised being familiar with his name. Then we researched it and our neighboring Kyrgyz people have this word which means portion. A funeral lasts for three or four days. Great funerals last for five or six days. The last day finished with a horse race, it means the party starts. Arranging a funeral doesn't mean to cry for death, that is a party. Songs are sung and cues are played in parties. Competition of arts takes place. During the ceremony, problems among tribes and relatives, political and social problems of neighboring countries are discussed and solved. Because people from Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Karakalpak, Mongolia, China and Russia came to the funeral as guests. In such big funerals, the problems of the country and land were solved. Year 1781. Ablai Khan's funeral. The ambassador of Tsin and Kazakh Sultan chose Uali as a Khan. There are so many historical events on the Kazakh land. In Ulutau, when Shigir died, who was considered as one of the four fortresses of Bagan Ali, his son Abai Dilda was traveling. He heard about his father's death but could not take part in the ceremony. When he came back, he asked, What did my father tell? He pointed three fingers, people said. He said, Well, he asked me to gather three Jews and arrange a funeral. He sent invitations and arranged a funeral in honor of Shigir. He called J.R. Horse from the west of Altai. He invited people from Akmola, which was near here. People were invited in the north from Torgai and in the south from Sir. Many people came. But all competitions were won by the neighboring Kipshak. In the wrestling of Palawans, the Kipshak wrestler won. At the end of the funeral, Abai Dilda was upset. If people from distant places had won, my 100 horses would have been taken by them. And on the way, someone would ask, whose horses are these? And they would answer, from the funeral of Shigir. He would be famous, but my fame didn't go that far. It is left near here. So Arranging a funeral is a great ceremony. The historian Plutnikov saw the village which arranged a funeral. In 1860, in honor of the head of Japas tribe from junior horde Kulumbai, 140 yurts and silk tents for 200 people were erected. The 90s of the 19th century. In Sirdarya, Kazali and Pirovsky districts, tribes from junior horde arranged five funerals. I.V. Anichkin, who participated in the ceremony, gave some interesting facts. In honor of the famous Karibai, about 200 white tents were built up. For Mula and Ishan, 
Guptar tents were set up, one mullah was chosen for one tent. Along the hearse, several yurts were erected, he writes. Then Kurban Ghali Khalid gives good data. From 1783 to 1880, arranging a funeral was popular and in the period of 100 years it developed. In Kokshitao, in honor of Ablai Khan, a funeral was arranged. Ten years later, after his death, another funeral was given. Ablai Khan has a big generation. He had 30 sons, 40 daughters. If all his children gather, they are able to arrange a big funeral. He writes, it is one of the biggest and most popular funerals. Since that time, Kazakh people have arranged funerals. It is difficult to count, there are thousands of them. Among them, Saginai's funeral in Ural Bagan Uli Yedin's funeral. They say that in honor of Yedin in 1860, funerals were given three times over three years. In the competitions for the first place, 100 horses were given, for the second place, 50 horses, and for the third, 25 horses were given. They repeated like this. There are sheep in addition. For example, 200 sheep were given. Funerals were also arranged in honor of his brother, Duzin. In Torgai, for Bektas, a funeral was organized, and in Obali, in honor of Shigir. Funerals also took place in Bayan Aul in the east. It is impossible to count them. It finished in the crisis in 1916. Each tribe comes to the ceremony. Any of them brings their best horse, which will take part in the horse race. Then they also come with their wrestler, who will defend the honor of the tribe. Akins and Jiraos of tribes join the ceremony too. In short, it is a competition between tribes. This is the way how people become famous. For example, they can say this wrestler won that one or someone's horse came first in the race, etc. This is the tribe's honor. When the ceremony comes to the finish after the prize is given and Palawans finish their wrestling, a horse is slaughtered. When a person dies in 40 days, his horse is given a kind of mourning. Tuldao means to cut the mane and tail of the horse and gives freedom to slaughter it. Nobody touches the horse for a year. The horse has freedom. In the summer and spring, the people move. The horse is decorated and held with some ceremony. A silver saddle with all accessories, a bridle is put on, embroidered chapan of the death is put on the saddle, his headwear is put on the head of the horse, and the horse is held with a ceremony. It is called Karali Kosh, black migration. When the ceremony finishes, the horse is slaughtered. The meat is divided between the heads of tribes bees and such VIPs, and the funeral ends. Arranging a funeral is the tradition of a peaceful time. In the Kazakh history, this tradition was even stopped for a century. This is the period during the Kazakh Jungar's attacks and the Second World War took place. Such difficult periods finished the tradition which came from the Saks time. However, after becoming independent, our traditions were renewed. When did this ceremony start again? After becoming independent. Since 1991, people from all regions of Kazakhstan started arranging funerals in honor of their ancestors, Batirs and Buiz. This is the history. Nobody makes you arrange a funeral. It is just in the mind of people. 
When they're able to give a funeral, they can do it. Arranging a funeral is a ceremony which takes place any time, even after a crisis.